Hi, my name's Andy. I'm one of the wine specialists based here at the Waitrose in John Lewis Oxford Street here in London. To kick off English Wine Week, we're going to start with a wine from an estate that can lay claim to being the oldest established commercial vineyard in the country. Hambledon was first planted with vines in 1952 by Major General Sir Guy Salisbury Jones. Uh, it was the first commercial English wine to be made for several hundred years. He won gold medal at the International Wine and Spirit competition in 1984 and the Queen served Hambledon wines at a banquet uh, held in honour of President Pompidou of France in the English Embassy. Um, interesting story behind that, the uh, gentleman uh, who supplied the wines, uh, Stephen Spurrier, an Englishman working in Paris with his own shop, Carl de Madeleine, um, had to uh, greet the wines uh, from the flight over from England and uh, the French customs agent couldn't work out how much duty he should be paying because there was no such thing in his book as English wine. Eventually uh, they agreed that since there was no such thing as English wine, uh, the wine should be allowed to enter the country because it didn't exist. It went on to be served, as I say, at the British Embassy to the President of France. Um, the estate uh, really fell into a bit of disrepair and by the 1990s uh, there were only a few acres left growing vines and the grapes were being sold to other commercial ventures. Uh, so Sir Ian Kellett uh, purchased Hambledon in 1999 and started to experiment with a combination of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier vines, uh, seeing which clones uh, would grow best in the soil he got at Hamilton. Um, so he expanded uh, the vineyards at first in 2005 and then again in 2010 when he incorporated the, the, the vineyard and built the winery. Uh, in 2011 he appointed a chap called Herve uh, Gestin, uh, who was chef de cave at Duval Loire um, Champagne House? Uh, he'd been produced. He'd been responsible for producing maybe 200 million bottles of champagne before he came over to make wine in England. Uh, they have a state-of-the-art winery, gravity-fed, which means that there's uh, little or no pumps uh, being used uh, to damage the juice on its way around uh, the winery from uh, the grapes being received and pressed and uh, the juice being run down to settling tanks then into fermentation vats and um, then on into uh, vats for aging and um, so we stock two wines from Hambledon we do their classic cuvee and their premier cuvee the classic cuvee is 30 pounds a bottle the premier cuvee 45 um, today I'm going to taste with you the classic cuvee this is uh, a three-way split of the traditional Champagne grape varieties, 70% Chardonnay, 20% uh, Pinot Meunier, and 10% Pinot Noir. The base wine um, is from grapes grown in 2011, and uh, it's got a proportion of reserve wines from earlier vintages in there as well. Always oh, the fun bit, this. Remove the foil. We uh, loosen the capsule, don't take it off. Um, it gives you something to grip the cork, and if the wine hasn't been under cork for very long, it can be quite tight to get out. Ah, listen to that. Just gentle easing of the pressure. No loud pop, how vulgar. Um, but uh, nice, uh, nice sigh from the bottle. I can smell this already. Uh, a lovely uh, fresh dough, yeasty bread, fresh bread uh, aroma. Oh, that's lovely. Um, with uh, baked lemons, a little bit of apple behind it. It's a lovely pale gold colour, really fine mousse, delightful small bubbles. That's really intense. Delicious. Lemon, baked apple, 
apple strudel, you've got that pastry character. Lovely, long finish, nice balance, not too dry, just enough of a dosage, um, uh, just enough sweetness to, to balance the really fresh acidity, which is a bit of a hallmark of English sparkling wines. This is a really classy bubbly. Hambledon were due to open a tasting room this year, a tasting room and visitor centre, um, and I'm sure that they will as soon as they're able. Uh, but at the moment you can't visit the vineyard. You can buy your wines online from them or you can get them from us here in the food hall, get them online from Waitrose Wine, uh, waitrosecellar.com. Uh, but uh, a lovely wine to toast the uh, first day of English Wine Week. Cheers.